A cylinder is like a circular prism. So it's got a circle as a cross section. The top and the bottom circles are identical. And if you cut through the shape at any point, you would get the same circle. To find the volume of a cylinder, we find the area of the circle, so the area of the cross section, times how far back it goes. The area of the circle times the height. So we can say volume is the area of the circle. Now hopefully you know the area of a circle. Area of circle is pi times the radius squared. Pi r squared. And the circumference of a circle is either pi times d, pi times diameter, or 2 times pi times radius. So the volume of a cylinder is the area of the circle, which is pi r squared times the height, which we can call h. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. In this example, we've got a radius of 4 and a height of 9. So the volume is going to be pi times 4 squared times 9. And you can type that into the calculator, or if you don't have a calculator, you can leave your answer in terms of pi. And that's what I'll do now. So 4 squared is 16. So pi times 16, we write that as 16 pi. So we've got 16 pi times 9, and 16 times 9 is the same as 16 times 10, take away a 16. So 16 times 10 is 160, take away 116 is 144. So we've got 144 pi, and we measure volume in cubes. So they, these are centimetres cubed. So we've got 144 pi centimetres cubed. There's one for you to try here, so give this one a go. The volume is the area of the circle times the height. So this time we've got a radius of 3 and a height of 5. So we've got pi times 3 squared times 5. 3 squared is 9, so pi times 9, we write that as 9 pi. So we've got 9 pi times 5, and 9 fives are 45. So we've got 45 pi. This time we've got meters, so we're measuring in meters cubed. We're measuring volume, so it's in cubes. In this example, we're looking at the surface area of a cylinder. The question says a cylinder has a diameter of 8 centimetres. So a diameter of 8 centimetres, which means it's got a radius of 4 centimetres. The radius is half of the diameter and a height of 10 centimetres. We want to find the total surface area of the cylinder. The total surface area is the area of every surface added together. And a cylinder has got three surfaces. We've got a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. So we've got two circles. And we've got the curved bit around the edge, which is actually a rectangle. If you can imagine being able to flatten down a cylinder, unwrap it, the shape, the curved shape would become a rectangle with a height of 10 and the length would be the circumference of the circle so all the way around the circle so the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r or pi times d so we, we, we know the diameter is 8 so pi times 8 is 8 pi so the circumference of the circle times the height and the two circles are pi times the radius squared. 
so pi times 4 squared in this example. So 4 squared is 16. 16 times pi is 16 pi. So both circles, the top and the bottom, have got an area of 16 pi. Our rectangle, so pi times diameter, is the length. 10 is the height. 8 pi times 10 is 80 pi. So our total surface area is 16 pi plus 16 pi plus 80 pi. 16 plus 16 is 32. 32 plus 80 is going to be 112. So we've got 112 pi and its area, we measure area in squares, so centimetres squares. And again, if you typed it into the calculator, you could find, you could get your answer as decimal if you wanted to. Okay, a question for you to try. So give this one a go. So again, the total surface area. So we've got two circles. Their area is pi r squared. So pi times 2 squared in this example. 2 squared is 4. So that's 4 pi centimetres, I don't know, metres squared. And we've got a rectangle with a height of 4 and a length of either 2 pi r or pi times d. So the diameter is 4, so 4 pi. And 4 times 4 pi will be 16 pi. So we've got 4 pi plus 4 pi plus 16 pi, which is going to make 24 pi, and that is meters squared. Okay, a different example. This time we've got a half a cylinder. So half a cylinder, we've got a diameter of 12 centimeters, a length of 20 centimeters, and the first question says find the volume. So the volume is going to be the area of the semicircle times how far back it goes, so times 20. So the area of a semicircle is going to be pi r squared over 2 and then times the height. Or we could have worked out the volume of the whole cylinder and then halved it at the end. So pi r squared, so the diameter is 12, so that means the radius is 6, so it's pi times 6 squared over 2 times 20. 6 squared is 36, so 36 times pi is 36 pi. And 36 pi halved is 18 pi. We've got 18 pi times 20. So 18 pi times 10 would be 180 pi. And double that, 360 pi. And it's in centimeters cubed, its volume. Okay, the same shape but find the surface area. So try and give this one a go. So how many surfaces have we got? We've got four surfaces this time. We've got two semicircles. We could just work out one circle, two semicircles, two semicircles, and their area is gonna be pi r squared over two. The radius is 6, so it's pi times 6 squared over 2. And we've already worked this out as 18 pi. So 36 pi over 2 is 18 pi. So both of these semicircles have got an area of 18 pi centimeters squared. We've got the rectangle on the top, which is 12 by 20. 
So 12 times 2 is 24. So 12 times 20 is 240. And we've got our other rectangle, which is it's going to have a length of half of the circumference of a circle. So half of pi times d. So pi times d is pi times 12. The whole circumference be pi times 12, 12 pi. Half of that is 6 pi. So the circumference of the whole circle. So circumference equals 12 pi. So half the circumference. The green bit here is 6 pi. So we've got 6 pi by 20. 6 times 2 is 12. So 6 times 20 is 120. So we've got our four surfaces. We've got 18 pi plus 18 pi plus 120 pi plus 240. So we've got 36 pi plus 120 pi, which is 156 pi plus 240. So again, if you can type that into the calculator, you could give your answer as a decimal. But this is the answer if we left it in terms of pi, and it's in centimetres squared because it's area. And to finish up, we've got two questions. So one volume, one surface area, pause the video and give them a go. So the first question is the volume of the cylinder, which is going to be the area of the circle times the height. So it's going to be pi r squared times the height. The radius is five centimeters. It's half a diameter. So it's pi times five squared times 12, which is the height. 5 squared is 25. So 25 pi times 12. And 25 times 12, 25 times 10 is 250, plus two more 25s, which is another 50. So 300 pi. And it's in centimeters cubed because it's volume. The second question is surface area. So we've got two circles, which are going to be pi times the radius squared, which is the radius is three this time. So three squared is nine. So that's nine pi meters squared. The other circle is also nine pi meters squared. And we've got a rectangle the height of 5 and the length is the circumference of the circle which is pi times d or 2 pi r so the diameter is 6 6 times pi is 6 pi so the area of the rectangle 6 pi times 5 is 30 pi so there are our three surfaces we've got two circles and a rectangle Let's add them together. So 9 pi plus 9 pi plus 30 pi. 9 plus 9 is 18. Plus 30 will be 48. 48 pi. And it's in meters squared.